What? A crowd. Yeah. <laughs> I lost them all. You went away. What? <laughs> Well, something didn't feel right for a second, that's all. I wanted to double check something. I want to make sure that all the knobs were in the right place. Uh, well, second day here at uh, the new, new Garden Flying Field, that's right. Here in Tuff, Hanneman, Pennsylvania. They're having a good time. Sure, always have a good time. Yeah, I think uh, if we have time this show, maybe we'll sneak in well all right since the girls never We'll well, all right. All right. All right. All right. We'll clear out the joint no time. <laughs> and that's that. Ain't nobody left. I'll tell you something we have to think about, though. What's that? Well, I mean, we're going to do, we're doing several shows this morning, and sure. there's going to be lots and lots of flights, but when it's all over, yeah. we have to get back home. We're not staying. No, no. I was going to fly out I was going to fly out on that one, but I guess we missed it. <laughs> well, I think we're going to have to, we're going to have to maybe, uh, we're going to rent a car. All right, then we'll rent the car. All right, rent the car then. Good, that takes care of that. Where am I going to go? You drive. Me drive? No, you drive. I said I drive. But you don't drive, I drive. Drive what? You drive. Why should I drive if you're going to drive? Listen, Castell, so you drive and I drive it. Oh, then we both drive. No such thing. When I say you drive, I don't mean you drive. I mean I drive even though it is a you drive. When you say you drive, you don't mean me drive? That's right. You mean you drive because I don't drive? Now you got it. I don't know what I'm talking about oh, up here. Oh, stop it. Look at it. We go to a place and we get a car. We're going to go get a car. Where am I sitting? You're sitting right next to me. Is there a steering wheel in front of me? No, there's not. And you're sure I'm not driving I'm a car? I'm sure you're not driving. And you're positive that you're driving a car? I'm positive I'm driving a car. Okay, what kind of car are you driving? You drive. Somebody's got to drive the I'm car. I'm telling you, Costello. Why don't you make up your Costello, mind? it hurts, you drive. Well, if it hurts, you drive. That's right. That's right. This is getting worse. No, Costello. The head of the company hurts. That's too bad. What hurts him? Nothing hurts him. Every company's got to have a head. Certainly. This company's head is hurts. Well, why don't he take an aspirin? Listen, Costello, it hurts you drive all over the country. Well, if it hurts to drive all over the country, why should I drive and get hurt? You're not going to get I'm hurt. I'm not going to get hurt. Of course you're not going to get I'm hurt. I'm not going to hurt anybody. No, you're not going to hurt anybody. Nobody's going to hurt Nobody's me. Nobody's going to hurt you. <laughs> Listen. There's a bee There's button a... into the act. <laughs> They had a butterfly, we, we get a, a yellow jacket. We got stung again. So, something's wrong. I'm trying to explain to you. It hurts you drive all over the country. Drive all over the country? What do I look like, a world no, traveler? No, no, listen to me, Castell. The man's name is Hertz. He rents cars. It's hurts you drive all over the country. <laughs> Forget it, brother. I'm going to walk. Fine. Call me a cab. Excuse me? I say call me a cab. It's silly, but I'll do it. You're a cab. That's not what I You mean. said you do what I do what I'm never, told. Never mind. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Every once in a while. Every time. You're acting up already this morning. I'm in a good mood. You're in a good oh, mood. Oh, yeah. I'm in a good mood. Well, I guess you should be in a good mood. Yeah. Can you just have that nice vacation? I say, before I come out here to this beautiful area here, we went out to Wisconsin. Went on Are you still fighting with I'm that bee? I'm still fighting with that bee. <laughs> Must be that new cologne I have on it won't smell like it did yesterday. No, well, no, it doesn't. It's, it's nice out. It is nice out here. But I did. I went on, I went on vacation. I went to Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Beautiful country out it there. It is. Very nice out there. All the, all the farms and the ranches. Farms Do you folks ranches. know the state slogan of Wisconsin? Come out to Wisconsin and smell our dairy air. That's it's beautiful not that. out there. Well, you beautiful, that. beautiful farmland. That's land. ridiculous. It's, it is. It's no, beautiful farmland. Oh, you're trying to make people, you're trying to make people yeah. think you're smarter than you are, aren't you? You start no. bragging and talking and all no. that stuff. Like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's the capital of Wisconsin? W. No, it's not. Anybody knows oh, that. Stop it. So That's you went silly. out there and you had a big game. Oh, and you had a good time. Oh, had a wonderful All right, good. All right. Yeah, we were walking around there. We were walking along the beautiful hits on everything. We saw, we saw a big bunch of cows. Oh, yeah. Cow herd. Excuse me? I say cow herd. I don't care for cow herd. I didn't say anything embarrassed about no, it. No. I didn't say anything rude. No, we saw a big bunch of cows out there. Costello. Herd of cows. Certainly a herd of cows, you dope. No, I mean... There was a big bunch of them out there. Costello, a bunch is a herd. A bunch is a herd? That's right. Like, like bananas? A bunch, bunch of bananas, bananas herd of cows. Same understand? thing? Yes. Uh, we saw big bananas of cows. No, you didn't. That's you said it's the same thing. All right, never mind. So you had a good time. Oh, yeah. We had you a great saw country. a lot of cows. Oh, sure. All right, But good. it was really hot the day we were out there. Hot. And we got thirsty while we were walking around. Well, that'll happen. And we were wondering if the farmer would mind if we went down and milked one of them cows and got something to drink. Well, I'll tell you the truth. I don't think the farmer would have minded. No? And they were very friendly people. Here's yeah. your problem. 
You don't know how to milk a cow. You're a city boy. You don't know the first thing about milking cows. Milk a cow. You're a city boy. Yeah, I know how to milk what a cow. What do you know about milking cows? Oh, yeah, when I was a little boy in Patterson, New Jersey, yeah. every summer, my mother used to pack me up and she'd send me out to Uncle Rupert's ranch. Oh, you used to go And I'd help around the ranch so I'd get up on a horse like what? I'd lasso the cows and put them in a barn. Oh, so you were a cow puncher. My horses, the one of them punched me back. Oh, stop it. So your uncle had a lot of cows. Well, he had over 500 head of cattle. 500 head. 500 head of cattle. 500 head. No bodies, just the head. Stop <laughs> it. I'm just playing. All right, never mind. Did he have all different kind of cows? I'm sure they were all different. They all different to me. I'm wow. Sure. Did, uh, did he have a heifer cow? Excuse me? Did he have a heifer cow? No, he didn't have a half a cow. The whole cow no, is a, a type What of kind of thing's a half a cow standing Never there? mind. I've heard of a side of beef, but that's ridiculous. Oh, stop that's that. silly. That's ridiculous. The whole cow was there. All right, never mind all your nonsense. Uh, so you learned how to make Yeah, even had some of these cows had these things sticking up out of their head. Things sticking out of their head? You mean horns? Did some of them have horns? Yeah, horns the traffic was like they say they weren't blowing their horns. No, oh, I know. I don't know. If they had the horns, those were the male cows, those are the steers. Steers don't give milk. Then where did they get that sterilized milk from? Oh, well, you stop being ridiculous. That bee is back. Yeah, he's back. That's all he wants is to be around. That's a spelling bee. Yeah, it's a spelling bee. <laughs> Listen, tell you what. We have a small but mighty crowd here. <laughs> small but mighty. Or maybe it's just a mighty small crowd. But why don't we? He liked that. <laughs> he's in the, he's here for the show. He's got no taste. He respect. <laughs> he apparently has no home to go to either. Better be over there, there somewhere. Is, yeah. he be the planes are for. Him. Now listen to me. Why don't you take a second with the with these several fine folks here? Yeah. Especially Christine, because I'll bet you. Oh. She'd like to learn how to milk a cow. Why don't you take a minute and explain how to milk a cow? I bet you. Ah, but these are smart people. They know how oh, to I didn't say everybody that, knows I how didn't to milk say a they cow. weren't smart. I said that they They're might smart. like to learn. Why don't you take a second, since you spent all the time in your uncle's ranch, and teach them how to milk a cow? Go ahead. I should tell these nice people how to milk sure, a cow. Sure, it's a nice, intimate day here today. Nice, quiet. You want me to explain to them how to milk a cow? Just take a minute and tell them how to milk a cow. Go ahead. I should tell them how to milk a cow. Go ahead. Take a minute. Fine, I don't know how to milk a cow. Why do you embarrass me? That's what I'm not trying to embarrass you. Why do you point these kind of things out for? Because that's what I thought. That's you all the time with your nonsense. So listen to me. I can teach you how to milk a cow if you want to learn how to You can teach me how to milk a cow? Not that hard to do. I didn't know you knew that. No, it's not hard, Lou. Really? No, no, no. You get yourself a stool, you get a bucket, and then you can milk the cow. You see? Oh, the cow, she sits on the stool, and then she gives me the milk. No, no, no. No? No, no, no. You have to milk the cow from the back. Oh, I climb up on the stool, get on the cow's back, and then she gives me the milk. No. Huh? You sit on the stool. You place the bucket under the cow's udder. Sure, you do, you do what? You place the bucket under the cow's udder. The cow's udder what? It's not udder what. You place the bucket under the cow's udder. The cow's udder what? It's not udder what. You place the bucket under the cow's udder. Look, out, but it's got to be under the cow's udder something. It can't be under the cow's udder nothing. Oh, see, you're being ridiculous now. I'm trying to explain to you. You've got to go to the source if you're going to get the milk. What do I want source? I want milk. If I want source, I'm going to feel the pick apples on my apple source. No, that's not I what want we're talking. milk. Oh, I'm trying to get you the milk. You place the bucket under... See, that's their tanks. Their what? Tanks. You're welcome. Now, where do I put the bucket? You place the bucket under the cow's udder. The cow's udder what? I don't want to talk Never about it. Never mind. You get me aggravated. Forget First thing it. in the morning. Forget we're it. We don't talk about it no more. All right. We'll talk about it no more. No. i tell you what. That would have been a great way to quench your thirst, though. Really? Oh, the way to quench your thirst. Good whole milk. That's the way to quench you your thirst. You know what you make with whole milk? What? Swiss cheese. Stop it. <laughs> well, you could. All right. Never mind that. All right. Can't get good whole milk everywhere anymore. No? No, 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 no. You're going to a restaurant now? Yeah. You'll get A milk. You'll get B milk. You could have milked that bee that you should have milked that. No, you can't milk a bee. No? No. You can milk an elf. <laughs> but you can't. <laughs> but you can't. You can't milk a bee. You get A milk or B milk. I get no bee skip? Get bee skip milk? No, honey. Thanks, dear. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Oh, look who's here. Go. Oh, how are school? Hey, this is our press agent, Scoop Fields. He wouldn't sure win that routine. No, he had no idea. I don't blame him. What can we do for you? You're not gonna introduce me like this. This is our press agent, Scoop Fields. They've had enough of you after a day and a half. Actually, I've had enough of you after a minute and a half. No, come back here. Gets milky. It's on half and half. Well, actually, I did have a, a, a real reason for coming you out. You had a reason for coming you out. You had a reason. Oh, so he's going to follow the script. It said on the script to yeah. come out, so he came out. Little devil. 
Well, you know, I have something important to talk to you about because uh, I don't want you to get upset about this, but as your president, uh, I need to. You guys need to move into a nicer house in a better neighborhood. Nicer house. Yeah. What's wrong with our place? Uh, well, Lou, how do I put it? Yeah, they're crazy. It's not good for your career images to be seen living in that broken down shack. Broken down shack? Yeah. I have to be very proud of our place. Oh, it's the only right. place on the whole block with Venetian blinds over the mouse wait, holes. Wait it's a classy wait, joint. Lou, uh, Lou, wait a second. Wait a second. Scoop makes a good point. What? I mean, we got grass growing up through the floorboards. What do you want? $15 a week. Russell Sprouts? Oh, stop. Oh, really Think of it, Lou. Wouldn't it be nice to own a big, beautiful place out in the suburbs? You know what the suburbs are, right? Oh, sure. That's French for a long bus ride. No, it's not. No, I'm trying to be serious here, Lou. Think of it. Wouldn't it be nice to own a big, beautiful place out there? You can have a garden in the front lawn. And, Lou, the flowers in the garden can spell out your name. Nice. The flowers can spell out my name? Oh, sure. Why not? What do you know about that? I bet the flowers are smarter than I am. Oh, stop it. Scoop's trying to make a good point with you here. Maybe we should move into a better place. We get a nice house and we have, a, uh, have canopies over the window. Canopies are they going to fall No, no, I mean, oh, never mind, never mind. You'll get a nicer canopy. place. Think of it, Lou. some carrots. Well, you stop it. Squash. I was trying Come to say on, something nice about what Scoop's trying to do. Sauerkraut. Think of it. The sauerkrauts yeah. are down that way. Yeah. Go ahead. Think of it, Lou. If you owned your own home, you wouldn't be embarrassed to have people over for dinner. Well, all right. I'm not embarrassed to have people over to Well, all right. Dig, dig, dig. Well, all right. All right. Back to that again. No, no. I had people over just the other day. You did? Oh, sure, sure. And I served them chicken, pheasant, turkey, and caramels. Wait, 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 wait. Did I hear you correctly? You said you served chicken, pheasant, turkey with caramels? Sure. And before the guests could get their teeth unstuck, I eat all the white meat. Uh -huh. I'm no right. dope. Yeah, you'll get even money on that. Oh, no, I'm trying to be serious here, Lou. <laughs> well, maybe we should move into a nicer place. Maybe he's right. Here's the problem, this group. Money is the problem. We don't have that kind of money. Matter of fact, it was just about a year ago when we were up here last time. We went downtown to one of the nice restaurants, sat down with a real estate guy. We sat there all night with scribbling figures on the tablecloth. And by the time the night was over, we figured out we had just enough money to buy it. What, a house? No, that tablecloth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> seriously, guys, I'm trying to help you out here. No? Well, I, ain't got, I ain't got money to buy a house. No, I don't have that kind of money. I don't need money to buy a house, Lou. You know? No, oh, it's easy to finance. Oh, easy to what? Finance, Lou. Finance for your new home. Why would I want to find ants for my new home? The old place is full of ants right no, now. No. As a matter of fact, the ants find my Lou. children all by themselves. Oh. Lou, Scoop's talking about finance. You know how to finance. Sure, just look at the sugar bowl and there they are. No, not like that. He's talking about finance and business. Yes. What about that? Now the ants are going into business. What? what? They're probably making chovies. Chovies? You guys ain't never heard of Aunt Chovies? Oh, <laughs> brother. Ain't that awful? And you're recording this, aren't you? <laughs> uh, you're going to burn it later, ain't you? Wait, all right. All right, look, look. I got some money. Yeah, okay. If you need help with the money, uh, take it out of your sister and she'll give you a loan. Who wants to be alone with your sister? Hey. No, no, no. It's not like that, Lou. See, my uh, sister works at the bank. See, uh, take down, she'll, she'll get a lien or a loan or, or a channel. Why, well, down at the bank, my sister has a box full of channel. In other words, your sister talked about an old channel box. Costello. I'm trying to help you. Don't you know what channel is? I don't know what channel is. I just don't know what my account. Mom's got a whole herd full of channel. What? Chows and chabs. He's oh, also got chitchens. No, he doesn't. He keeps his chows in the chow pasture no, and his chitchens no. in the chitchen chow. No, he doesn't. Mm. Stop it. Well, he could. Yeah, he could, I guess. That's ridiculous. Where's that beat? <laughs> Uh, he's talking about chapel, yes. not cattle. Okay? Alright? Yeah, you go to the bank, you get a lien or a loan, yeah. and then you go to escrow. Escrow, that's right. Why that's can't right. I come to Longwood Gardens? Escrow has nothing to do with Longwood Gardens. And Longwood Gardens have nothing to do with escrow. Oh, stop it. Buy a lot. Yeah, buy a lot. Buy a lot of what? Buy a lot of nothing. You just you 
buy a lot. Yeah. That's good, but I'm going to spend money. It's going to be for a lot of something. I ain't spending good money for a lot of nothing. Well, you're not going to get nothing. You're going to buy a lot. You take your money and you buy a lot. A lot of what? We're talking about the kind of lot you buy when you buy a lot. You can get a lot for a lot or a lot for a little, either way. What do I get a lot or a little? Uh, it uh, doesn't really matter. I think you start with a little lot, then you can get a much lot, larger lot, quite a lot more, another little lot, quite a lot less. Yeah, you should start out with a little lot. Yeah. Then you get a larger lot, quite a lot more, See? or another little lot, for quite a lot less. Yeah, yeah, you hey. got it. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Up Neither there. do I. It's all right. It's but all right. Close. It's fine. Oh. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. It'll be fine just the way it is. <clears throat> I have to move this so I see what's next. Yeah, oh. I know. The wind is blowing our set list around, so give us a second. Three, four. Oh, I'm ready. Are you ready? Go oh, ahead. sure. I should have. That's what that bee was cute. That's why that bee was here. How would you guys like to take a ride with me tomorrow? I don't think so. Not well, at this I don't point. Think so either. <laughs> well, we got that rental We're... car from Hertz and everything. Now we, just... we might as well go. I told you. I see? told you. See? start over. We just got here. He's selling. Right. Crowd showed up. See there. What? Rewind the tape. What tape? <laughs> Where do you want He's to go? He's speaking well this morning. I, I say, where do you want to go tomorrow? I yes. want you to come with me to go to my Uncle Marty's beef farm. Oh! Your Uncle Marty has a beef farm? Oh, oh sure, yeah. Oh, sure. No. Lou's uncle keeps a lot of bees. Oh, wow. He's got a whole herd of bees. <laughs> no, Lou, it's not herd of bees. It's a swarm. What? It's swarm. Why don't you take your coat off? You'll be more comfortable. No, 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 it feels no, all right to me. No. He's talking about your uncle's beehives. You've yeah. seen your uncle's hives, haven't you? No, we're talking about after he's had his clothes on. No, no, no. I've been to your uncle's farm. Sure. I've seen his hives. You've seen my uncle's hives? Well, of course I have. Shame on you, Adam. What are you talking about? Peeking into my uncle's window and looking at his I hives wasn't like peeking that. Peeking at that ain't Listen, your uncle's in the house. His hives are in the backyard. My uncle's in the house and yeah. his hives are in the backyard? That's right. How does he scratch them with a long handled rake? Nothing like that. You're being ridiculous again. Talking about honey. Have you ever had any, any, any of your uncles asphalt when they eat honey? No, I haven't, sweetheart. Oh, I don't care to try right. it either. Never mind. Look, uh, you do know where honey comes from, don't you? Oh, well, sure, my cat has honey. What? That's ridiculous. Their cats don't have honey. Then why does mine stay out all night? Stop it. Must have something oh, going on. You got bees, some of that wine. Bees, bees make the honey. Disco. Bees, right there. <laughs> After I noticed that the bees buzz around my garden gathering nectar. Gathering what? Nectar, Lou. Nectar in the flowers. The nectar in the flowers. Scoop, you shouldn't tell people anything. They'll, 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 they'll put it in the paper. So no, no, no. Uh, uh, Lou, haven't you ever noticed the bees buzz around my poppies? Your poppies what? My poppies in the garden. Well, who cares? I don't stay in the garden. No, Lou. Don't you know I have an oriental poppy? No, I thought he was an American like the rest of us. Oh, no, no, when he says poppy. You learn something every day, don't when you? When he says poppy, he's not talking about a man. Nah, but that oh, ain't nice. He's standing right here. What's the matter you with you? You shouldn't say that. Well, that kind of the talk. poppy I'm talking about is in the backyard in the bed. You want to go in the house and go to sleep? Is he afraid of your mommy? That's Della. Lou, well, haven't you ever noticed uh, my petunias? Oh, but I see your pansies are drooping a little. I don't know. Oh, stop talking. What kind of silly what talk am I is that? What supposed to do with you? I don't know. That's ridiculous. Move the list of I did. <laughs> want to do a piece oh, of that? Or... <laughs> no. Or should I go away? Why don't you just get oh, away? I'll walk so over here. Walk over there. Wasn't that smooth? Oh. <laughs> Aren't you glad I'll you came for this show? I'll be, I'm saying oh, I'll thank be. you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> should I go in? Yeah, go in. Okay, I'm not coming back out. Oh. <laughs> well, All right then. Promise. You're on your own. I'm this. on my own. Once again, here I am. I'm all alone up here. All alone am I. No, I'm not. All right. Well, we come to that point in the show. This is the point where somebody says, You guys are going to talk about baseball? Baseball. <laughs> baseball. Baseball. Uh, and a switch of the bat. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. I'm sorry. If I could do it without him, believe me. Baseball, our favorite sport. Ah, there's the man. I never know where they're hiding. But they sure play well, don't they? Well, Lou's favorite sport, baseball. Nothing like it. From back in his days in Patterson, New Jersey, which is close to Clifton, the sake has put lights. Came that far. Oh, 
Japanese town. No, oh no, no, it's not that kind of show. Well, I understand that you're going to be the new manager of the New Garden Flying Field Festival of Flight Baseball As a team. matter of fact, we just organized a team. We're Did really you? looking forward. That's right. I'd like to play the team myself. You know, I know something about baseball. Well, I think I can get you a tryout on the manager. We'll bring yeah. you down see how you do. Well, if you can get me down there, maybe you can introduce me to some of the guys on the team. So if I see them on the street or a ballpark, I can say hello to them. Well, I'll be glad to introduce you to all the fellows on the team. Yeah. But you're going to have to understand. See, they give ball players nowadays kind of strange names. Funny names. Well, nicknames are pet names. You know, like there was Dizzy Dean. Daffy Dean. St. Louis, that's right. Very good. Joe. Joe. Joe DiMaggio, the Yankee Clipper. Excellent. Iron Man. Lou Gehrig. Terrific baseball player. The guy they named after the candy bar. The guy they named. What guy they named after the candy bar? Baby Ruth. That's ridiculous. Well, that's... it can't be Butterfingers. That'd oh, be a terrible name right. for a ball player. Never mind any more of your nonsense now. Let me start by naming for you the guys that are going to be on the bags, okay? All right. Sure. All right. Because we got who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. That's what I want to find out. That's what I'm telling you. Who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. Are you the manager? Yes. Do you know the fellow's names? Well, I should. Well, then who's on first? Yes. I mean the fellow's name. That's it. That's who? Yes. So go ahead and tell me. Who? The guy on first. Who? The first baseman. Who is on first? What do you keep asking me for? I'm not asking you. I'm telling you that's the man's name. That's whose name? Yes. So tell me who's on first. That's uh, right. Look, when you pay off the first baseman every month, who gets the money? Every dollar of it. Well, why not the man's earned it? He's entitled to. Who is? Yes. So who gets it? Certainly. Sometimes his wife comes down and picks it up for him. Who's wife? Yes. <laughs> Look, when you put this guy on the team, when you add him to the roster, right? did you get the first baseman to sign a contract? Of course he signed a contract. The first baseman signed a contract? He had to sign a contract. How did he sign his name? Who? The guy that signed the contract. Who? The guy that signed the contract. Who? The guy that signed the contract! It wouldn't be any good unless he signed it. It wouldn't be good unless who signed it. That's right. So who signed the contract? Absolutely. What's the guy's name on third? Who's on second? Who's on first? I don't know. He's on third base. If I go back on third again. Well, I can't change their name. Look, what's the guy's name on first base? What's the guy's name on second base? I'm Scott not Clark asking you who's on second. Who's on first? I don't know. Third, third base. base. Woo! You've got an outfield? Oh, we have an excellent outfield. All right, the left fielder's name. Why? I don't know. I just thought I'd ask you. I just thought I'd tell you. Tell me who's playing left field. Who is not playing left field? Who's on first base? Stay out of the infield! Then what are you trying to I want to know what's the left fielder's what's name. What's on second base? Who's on who's second? On third oh, third base. base, third base. The left fielder's name. Why? Because. Oh, no, no, no. He's in center field. <laughs> Have you got a pitcher on this team? Wouldn't this be some fine team without a pitcher? It's a huh? fine team now, brother. Tell me the pitcher's name. Tomorrow. You don't want to tell me today? I'm telling you, man. Then go ahead. Tomorrow. What time? What time what? What time tomorrow to tell me who's pitching? For the last time, who is not I'll pitching? I'll break your arm, you say, who's on then first? What are you trying I to I want to know out? what's the pitcher's name. What's on second base? Who's on second? Who's on first? I don't know, third, third base. base. Got a catcher? Oh, we have an excellent catcher. All right, the catcher's name. Today. Today. Yes. And tomorrow's pitching. Now you got it. Now I got it. All we got is a couple of days on it. What's wrong with Couple of days. You're so excited. Who's getting excited? Oh, settle no, down. I'm Myself. Oh, I've heard that. Now, I'll catch them myself. I'm going to catch. All right. And tomorrow is pitching on the team. All right. Now, tomorrow throws the ball, and the guy up bunts the ball. Now, when he bunts the ball, me being a good catcher, I want to throw a guy out at first base, so I pick up the ball, and I throw it to who? Now, that's the first thing you said right all morning. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Now, that's all you have to do. It's a throw the ball to first base. Yes. Now, who's got it? Naturally. Look, if I throw the ball to first base, somebody's going to get it. Oh, yes. Now, who's got it? Naturally. Naturally? Naturally. Oh, so I throw the ball to natural. No, you don't. You throw it to who? Naturally. Like I said. That was I said I throw the ball to naturally. No, you don't. I throw it to who? Naturally. You ask me. You pick up the ball. You throw it to who? Naturally. See? Same as you. No. no. I throw the ball to who? Naturally. naturally. Now, whoever just drops the ball, so the guy runs to second. Who picks up the ball and throws it to what? What throws it to I don't know. I don't know if throws back to tomorrow. A triple play. That's possible. Another guy gets up, and it's a long fly ball to because. Why? I don't know. He's on third, and I don't give a 
give a darn. Wait a minute, what'd you say right I there? I said, I don't give a darn. Well, that's our shortstop. You know these players as well as I do. I'm a big boy. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Hey, Thank you. Nice Order and a nice group of folks. Why don't you give these people a beautiful toast to always make? All right. On behalf of my partner, Luke Costello, and our associate, Scoop Fields, may you all live as long as you want. And may you never want as long as you live. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. Yeah. We got DVDs to give away. We got all kinds of great stuff for you, so stick around and enjoy your day.